All right, it's time to take a trip into town. Need some supplies. Still got some snow here, but it's all thawing out. Slushy. Nasty. Need some bird seed too. That there for now. Putting the generator battery back on the list. I took it off because I was like, yeah, I could just pull start it, which sucks because I can't turn it on from the inside of the RV. But then a donator pitched in and said, go buy you that battery. So back on the list it is. Thank you very much, donator. I'm gonna grab a battery today. Got a lot of welding projects coming up, and I might need that. Getting a little slippery, but it's just slush. We're getting a good amount of traction. Pretty nice little drive getting here into town. Only snow seems to be up at the top of the mountain there. Just rain down here in the valley. Rain and traffic. Probably not a good time to come in, but oh, not gonna make that one. Harbor Freight. It's been a little while. Let's hope they got what I need. They usually sell the battery there. 
sell it separately, just like they do the wheel kit. We'll make our way toward the back here, where there's more space. Harbor Freight Run. Need some parts. Ooh, that looks nice. Not as nice as patches, though. Mm -hmm. This game? Christmas song stuck in my head do, 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 do. How's it going? I'm good Alright you guys, let's get some batteries That needs to go on my list. It is actually on my list. It needs to go back up the list. It gets bumped up a little bit. I could actually find a place to mount that. Something that small. Ooh, they got a new kind of predator in. Super quiet, 1400. Isn't that neat? Holy moly. The big boy. Jesus. It's nice though, I like how it's all enclosed. Gee, they have like 20 different kinds of generators now. Just size differences, 9500, 8750. This thing is just crazy looking to me. Um, guy went back and looked and he said they are out of stock until Monday, so I will see if Walmart has one of these. I know they carry motorcycle batteries, so. All right, let's uh, see what Walmart has and get on to the next thing. Let's see, yeah, Walmart. Let's see if they got something. I just, I, I've been there before. I think they do have pretty much what I need, but I don't like how they sell their batteries without the battery acid in them. They say you can't return it after you put the battery acid in, so kind of not a very good deal in my opinion.
Oh, look at my solar panels. They're all covered in snow still. Damn my cat. Okay, flipped around and reparked. Forgot I was making an Amazon return. Oh, so that's done. It was a new pair of headphones. I need to replace mine. They're falling apart. But uh, these sounded horrible, so back they go. Boy, you need to find me something though for my bedroom. Something a little better. I want to play my Fallout 3, but I want good quality monitor to use to watch it on. The ones I got from Amazon are not looking too good. That's looking pretty good. Don't want none of this smart TV crap either. Just want a monitor. Okay, enough detours. Let's look at the batteries. Battery sector under lock and key. Hmm. <laughs> there we are. I can't find a 12 volt battery here. Huh? About the same price. Well, I got EGM. Then I don't have to worry about the uh, putting the battery acid in. I'm just going to assume these are all 12 volt because uh, I don't know. volts on it this is uh, not the right battery okay that was a hit and miss on that battery so I will revisit that later or come back in a few days when Harbor Freight gets their shipment they do have some on the way so um, I don't know maybe I'll just hook up a cord I don't know let's uh let's get some gas get some lumber and head on back to the ranch we're almost done with our mission here
Actually, let's get some food and then we'll get some lumber. Got a Winco here. Not the best Winco for parking. These little islands kind of screw things up for me. Unless I park sideways, I suppose. Which is always an option. Let's go ahead and do that. Watch out for those trees. Do I fit, do I fit? Yes. Patches, you must be losing weight. You're fitting in all the uh, economy spots. The tiny car spots. Or what does that E mean? Employee? So we got a camper trailer there. Pastime. Or truck, truck camper. Got a truck camper there. All right, stocked up on food and birdseed. I think we'll get some gas. It's getting kind of low. If that's showing half a tank, it's probably closer to a quarter tank. A little hiding spot back there. Um, we'll check this wind kill for batteries. See what they got. And then we'll get some gas. gas first. I really need an intermittent module or something for the uh, these wipers and I really need cruise control. It'd be really nice on those long drives. Gasoline. My favorite liquid. Second favorite liquid. First favorite is water, of course. Uh-oh. What's all these signs about? Hmm. Out of service. Pump out of order. Out of service. Uh, well, let's go somewhere else. Oh, weird. Triple K coming soon. Guess they're shutting down the place. That's inconvenient. Maybe they'll fix this parking lot while they're at it. Um, let's see, I'm running short on time. Let's just skip the battery. I need to get lumber. I'll do the battery another day, or I'll just wire it up or do something. We'll put that money toward hooking up that big Jenny on the back one way or the other. I don't like the idea of hooking it to the house batteries because the house batteries sometimes charge it. Uh, like 14.8 volts, and I don't know what that'll do feeding back into the generator. Or starting with that much power, I don't really want to, you know, I don't want to burn out my starter motor on the generator, so... I don't know, I might do something with just putting another car battery in there. Or we'll just come back next week and see if Harbor Freight has what I need.
on the list. Let's go in and see if the auto parts store has something. I really just should go grab uh, the battery I was using. I just don't want all that extra weight on the cargo carrier. So yeah, we'll see what the auto parts store has and then if nothing else, I'll just relocate that car battery into a cabinet or something. Going to O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Okay, mission accomplished on the battery. This is way cheaper too. It was only uh, without the core, it was 40, 42 bucks. If I brought in a core, it would have been 32 bucks. Way cheaper than what I was seeing those generator batteries go for. I think this is just a typical lawnmower battery. There's one size bigger too, but this uh, already should be plenty. Okay, got a battery, just need some lumber. Head on back. Never mind, their pumps are all jacked up too. We're out of order. There's a few of them still going, but I'm not gonna squeeze in there. Air gas. busy of an area I need to I'm gonna go out into the country a little bit get gas let's get that lumber though got a project to work on got many 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 projects new storage places. I like the idea of getting something bigger um, and then uh, give myself a little more time moving in so I could set up bigger shelves and organize a little better. I kind of rushed moving in to the one I'm currently at and uh, everything's just all Alright, back roads all the way to Lowe's. Slow going.
Monaco style. Love all these old shops, this is neat. Okay, plywood and insulation. Just a few things. A couple things. Maybe some screws, some extra self-tapping so I don't deplete my supply. Lawnmowers and barbecues. <laughs> oh. Christmas trees. Toilet paper. Hmm. If that's any better deal than, well, probably not, but it's good to know they have that stuff here. Oh, this is cool, you guys. I was looking at this the other day. It's like some old fashioned deal. It's got the freezer and a fridge. I wish I waited on buying mine, or I wish I had seen this. This is a uh, I paid like 210 bucks for mine. This is only 186. A little more plasticky feeling than you think. You see something this old look in you. I mean, I've seen old fridges and they're all steel, heavy, cold. It's all plastic. That is neat though. It's really cool. Numbers, what else? Insulation. Focus. Probably need to get me a cart. That is pretty cool. Oh, look at that thing. Some sci fi. Sci-fi lights. Quick look at the lights, lamps, fans. Oh, I used to install these ones right here. The f with the frosted dish. That brings back memories. And not the most pleasant ones. Those like my work. Uh, those were, you know, throwing up a simple light fixture, that's one thing, but having to put together a whole fan kit was a pain in the butt. Just took more time. 
Oh, uh, let's see. There is uh, one type of outdoor light that I'd like to get as a fixture for um, a reading light in my bedroom. So I'm not seeing it here. Plastic. What the heck? Actually, as a maintenance guy, I prefer that. Less things to break. But I do not like... I'm sure that won't age well. Oh, that's cool. Fancy. That's cool. Ah, I need one of these. At least I did. I got a bunch of lighting in the RV. Everything's looking pretty good. But like a clamp lamp or a clamp style of one of those was on my list for a little while. 14 bucks, huh? 15. 15 dollar. For that little lamp. With the lampies. I'm not seeing my outdoor light. I want to save that for Home Depot. I need to buy. Put my money toward the lumber, anyways. That looks like a. Looks like a bird cage. It's funny, these Edison bulbs are. Oh, those are LEDs. This one's not, though. You got LED and a filament. I, filaments look pretty nice. I like those. That's too thick. Should grab some 2 by 4s too because I'm going to brace up the ceiling and one spot. Uh, the prices. These are four fifty. Um, maybe I should just focus on one project at a time. It's just a little more expensive. At four eighty five. I wonder what the difference is. Hemfer. Hemlock, something else for KD for no money, top choice, Douglas fur. Plywood, let's go get the plywood. Oh, that's nice, very nice. Um. $78 a sheet, holy sh**. Should probably just go back to my storage unit and get the stuff I have left over. Actually, here's some rougher looking stuff. So it's probably a little cheaper. 25 bucks. Okay, now we need insulation. Kind of looks like that was right behind me. But no. Where is it? Insulation, there we go. Heck is even going on there? Well, 
that checks out. What is the company name? I like keeping track of that. John, John's Manville. John's Manville. Main say, baby. Fiberglass. 12 inch thickness, 16 inch width, I got 40 inches long. What do you say? This is, uh, I don't know, it's probably seven. Try something else here. Uh, can't even tell what this what says. Is that supposed to be one package? What the heck is going on? One roll. Some kind of funky deal with that. They are tasty. No. Oh, is that what's going on? Is it taped? It is not taped. There we go. Yeah. Barely make this work. Okay, that was 76 dollars. That was, uh, wood prices are ridiculous. I should make that thing all out of steel. At least the steel doesn't. Okay, I'd say mission accomplished for the most part. Uh, I'm gonna skip on gas. I'm too tired. I have enough gas to get back. So. Battery, insulation, wood, food, good to go. Let's get back and get started working on old patches here. All right, this seat belt mechanism. All right, the patches, let's hit the road. Checking my swing. Uh, actually, let's go out the back way. It's a little easier for the big vehicles.
Flex steel? What does that mean? Flex steel? It's probably a gym. I need to find me a steel yard around these parts. I have an idea, but I'm not too sure where to go. We'll see. Next trip into town. This next project needs us some steel. Christmas to everybody if it's not too late sometimes these videos get delayed but uh, yes Merry Christmas always love seeing the, the lights the trees the decoration Merry Christmas and God bless you all scenery up there. Beautiful trees and farmland. Christmas lights, I love that image. I'll uh, switch over to Sony for some zoom footage. those mountains as good as I can. So beautiful. Ooh. Shiny. Love my high beams, holy moly. I don't use them too often when I win. I don't use them too often and when I do, it just lights up the night. Need to switch out those taillights to LED though because every time I brake, I see my lights flicker. Another project coming up, it's on the list.
slippery there. Patches, you're so heavy, I just, it's very rare you lose traction. It's nice. Plus, I guess dualies technically qualify as a four. You got four powered wheels on the ground. Sure, I mean, they don't got no tread on them though. But we get the traction. They want to take it slow. Last thing you want is 15,000 pounds getting away from you. Oh yeah, patches, you need to, I need to fix your reverse lights. Okay, you sound good, patches. Patty Chano, 454. Okay, we made it. Mission partially accomplished. I would have liked to have some gasoline. I love my gasoline. I like to stay stocked up on that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get plugged back in. Get started fixing things. I asked the guy at the uh, register if this was the made date. The made on or the made uh, the manufacturer date, and he said no, that's the charge date. That's the last time it was charged. Uh, I wonder if you can find them. Manufacturer date. Uh, but anyway, anyway, let's give this a quick check. Should have done this at the store, but he said as long as this is not installed, I can bring it back. Twelve five five. Couple tenths lower than a fully charged battery. Not bad for having been sitting a couple months. These do lose their charge just sitting around with all that acid. So let's give this a good charge and uh, figure out where I want to put this. I think I'm going to do it remotely. Hook up a cable like I was talking about, but we'll put this in the cabinet so I don't have. An extra 20 pounds. You know, that's really not that bad. We'll see. Maybe I will put that on there. Uh-oh. Why is there moisture over here? Got some more black mold? Jesus. <sighs> Nothing wet up above. It must be something else. Dry, it's greasy. I need to clean my kitchen. I need to fix my kitchen first. I put all that cleaning nonsense off. I got so many things to fix. I should not put that off any longer. It is time, and that's probably all black mold. Ugh, speaking of moisture, I was just back here looking for a carabiner clip for something, and this wall is all wet. Well, it looks like it's dripping down from the window anyway, so it's wet from the window down. Look at that. That is, that is soaking wet. That wet spot. That is really, really wet. Carpet feels dry. Something trickling down. Oh, wow. That is really wet. 
These windows have got to come out. Dang, I did not get enough plywood. I'm only, I'm just fixing the front part, the front where the cabinets used to be. Yeah, it's all dry up here. Ooh, and there's some more black mold. You know, the more the stuff I find and clean, the Unless my throat hurts, it's nice to know that I'm on the right track. Keep getting this stuff out of here. I hate these windows. These things suck. Why, 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 why? Where is that water coming from? I mean, this track is pretty wet. I mean, this window doesn't even shut very good anymore. This thing stripped out. Oh, this is freaking this thing. Okay, we are so taking those windows out now. My list, I make these lists and I think I know what's coming next and then well patches um changes things up. This plywood is too thick anyways. We need more plywood though. More plywood. Hard insulation. Paint. 82% on that. Not uh, it was about 10 minutes of sitting there and charging. <laughs> 